Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Kyle from V93.3. We are at the Pauline Haas Library in Sussex. I'm with Adele, who's the director of this library, and we're going to give you a little glimpse into what happens here at the Sussex Library. Did you know they put on a tiny art show? You are here for a good month because all month this month we have our tiny art show which is a community art exhibit with a little bit of a twist. Um, all of the pieces have to be on these small little easels and so anyone all ages can participate. And it's just people in the community. Everyone, anybody in the community can do it. We have a lot of families who um, ask for their pieces to be displayed together. Uh, we started this last year and I think it's just going to be an annual thing because we get such a great response. Yeah, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So Adele, you have the Library of Things. Uh, we're standing by it right now. I never have seen this that I could ever remember at a library where you could check out kitchen appliances. Mm -hmm. Things like you don't need all the time. This is one of those collections that's really taken off in recent years because they're non-traditional items, but they're all the kind of things that you may want to use them for times of year. Right. And then right. otherwise they're gathering dust. Uh, or... Pasta maker, electric knife sharpener. Um, yeah. Is this a waffle cone maker? Yeah, waffle yes, cone maker. Waffle cone maker. We've got some cake pans over here. I'm particularly fond of this um, emojis cake pan. Tony's are um, a little box that we circulate these kits. And when you turn it on, and voila, it starts to read you a story, sing songs. So it's got different characters that kids love, different um, different stories, and um, it's this great, very much indestructible um, screen-free experience for kids. One of the things that you won't see um, actually on the shelf, but they are here to check out our art school classes. So those are passes to local attractions. We uh, circulate them at the library and you can check them out and they'll get you and your family into something like Penny Bryn or the Domes, um, the Green Gables, the Hall of Fame, a um, bunch of different, uh, different attractions and ways to explore the area um, with your family without, without being bored. And just so. using a library card. Exactly. Which is amazing. This is our new teen area. Um, every age group needs their own space, right? With their own you know, seating, own things to do. And we've got an interactive whiteboard here where we invite our teens to answer different questions every month. April is National Poetry Month. And so we are asking what band or song is your favorite? Because song lyrics are poetry. Um, and it's just really, really fun to see all of the different things that uh, the teens are into right now. Yeah, some of them are new artists, some of them aren't. So Beatles, Anna James, Kate Bush, uh, some bands that have been around for a really long time. Of course, you'd see some Taylor Swift. Plenty of Taylor. <laughs> Plenty of Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it, song lyrics are poetry. And connecting that with the kids and the teens to realize, oh, I do like poetry because I like this new music and I like the song lyrics from the songs. Yeah, too. that's just the form that it's taking. You know? Right, right. Yeah. Exactly. Well, thanks so much for having us out here today uh, to see what else is available here at the Halloween Haas Sussex Library. It's been great to meet you. Now you know a few more things that you maybe didn't know about the Sussex Library. So thanks so much for joining us here today. Thanks for being here.